so today's video is super fun this is like a high glam but like a low-key kind of summer look i have like a neutral lip and a super pretty like coppery eye going on so i'm super excited for you guys to just kind of recreate this look if you do recreate it please tag me at x-o-m-e-l-l-a-b-l-o-g and if you like these videos please follow us on instagram at xml lock i got a whole new studio going on I went on Amazon, I ordered all this new fun stuff, so I have lighting, I'm lighting, I'm lighting, I'm professional equipment, and you know, you learn, you learn as you go, and I'm hoping that this is starting to look a little bit more professional, you guys can see, I show you how to get this I show you all this fun stuff, I got some new products that I'll talk to you guys about after, through the video, and if there's anything you guys ever want to see, please comment, email, there's a direct link to our email on our Instagram, if you ever want to ask any questions just comment or direct message me because i'll answer you back in five seconds so yeah before you get started if you really do like this video please subscribe below and like this video and let's get started so i'm going to start off by priming my face with the pore professional by benefit it is so good it is so easy to use i kind of just take a little bit and put it on my skin it's super cooling finish and if you've watched any of my videos you know that this is the only primer that I will use it just works so well so this is what I use to kind of control shine for my face to moisturize I use the you know I use the same routine for everything when it comes to priming and prepping my face and that's because I like to use what works and I will try different things and I will go out of the box a little bit but not when it comes to starting off my face because I believe your skincare is so crazy you need to make sure that you're not trying anything crazy it's really important that your skin gets the best treatment that it can and I find that Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel works really good for me I am thinking about trying the Tarte um hydro it's like rainforest of the sea hydro gel type deal and i think that that would be really super pretty and i think it is important to kind of have like moisture in your skin no matter how oily you are or if you're dry like you have to just find out what skincare works best for your skin all right next i'm gonna prime my eyes with the nyx white eyeshadow base i have it in tan also i just tend to use white because i feel like it makes things show up a little bit more and i'm using a bare minerals concealer brush and i'm just kind of putting a little dab of it on each eye wiping off the excess because less is more when it comes to this and kind of just rubbing it into the eyelid to kind of make sure that you do coat the whole eyelid so that certain parts aren't more vivid when it comes to color from the eyeshadow that you do than other ones you know, it's important to use primers and prep your skin and all those other fun things, especially in the summertime when you're in the sun and you're around elements like water, rain, sun, wind. You want to make sure that your makeup is going to lock and hold into what is going on here. And I find that these are the products that definitely work best for me as far as long-lasting makeup. All right, so for today, I'm actually going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. You can use whatever palette you have. If you have the Modern Renaissance Palette, you can use that palette. You just have to find, um, like, single eyeshadows or something that resemble these colors or just, you know, use the base colors that I use and go crazy and do whatever you want. I mean, I'm just looking to do a pretty summery color. Um, I'm going to use this top golden color for the first crease color with my Ulta, Ulta Beauty Crease Brush. And I'm just going to kind of... Go over the crease in a windshield wiper motion and do all that fun basic stuff that I've been doing since 2009. It's funny, my boyfriend cannot stand it when I get like other makeup on these little palettes. So like Mr. Clean Magic Eraser has learned to become my best friend. Because if I'm photographing and stuff, like the makeup that I'm using, I do want it to look really nice. So Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, if your palettes get as dirty as mine do. And I think when they get dirty, it just goes to show that you love them. You love your palettes and you're using them well. So don't be ashamed. Just take the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and I think you'll be good. But just don't let any of that like chemicals seep in. Like I wouldn't use it around this part because the chemicals really might just um like seep into your makeup and you don't want that to happen but the tops of it and the back if you want like just a pretty presentation perfect perfect idea next using the same crease brush because the colors are so similar and they're going to go around the same area i'm going to go in with this middle color which is this pretty orange and i think it's called i don't know what it's called to be honest i cannot read the back of this palette anymore because it's well up so i'm just going to go right over kind of where i was deepening the crease a little bit more to kind of give it some pretty, pretty 
you know, depth, I guess you could say, for like a kind of intense summery eye. Um, Casey Holmes, the beauty blogger, if you guys watch her, she always, always uses tape. And I think I might try that because I don't really extend my eyeshadow out too far because I my eye shape is not eyeshadow friendly, I guess you could say. Like, I don't have super large eyelids in my makeup. You kind of like don't see my eyeshadow unless I close my eyes. So maybe I can try the tape and extend it out a little bit and just see how it works for me. That might be fun. Maybe that's something I'll try in my next video. <laughs> but people might wonder where the tape went. Oh, don't worry, I'm using it for my makeup videos. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go with a hot pink eye or a you know like a darker orange eye. And as basic as it is for me to use the dark orange, I am going to take this It Cosmetics Airbrush Shadow Brush and go in with this third color right here, which is the darker orange, and kind of just blend it out into my crease. Oh my gosh, look at how pigmented that is. That is absolutely crazy. And this color is really pretty and it really does kind of just, it's its like the middle of the road. It's not the super pink, but it's also not the super burnt orangey color. It's just middle of the road and I think it's really gorgeous. I think it's really pretty for summer if you're looking for something super glam, but not like winter type glam where you're using like blacks and brown eyeshadows. If you don't want like a full smoky eye, but you just want a little something going on there. I think this is pretty. So, you guys can kind of see. It's looking a little crazy right now, but it won't forever. Next, using this pretty coppery color right here in the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette, I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Airbrush Crease Brush. And I actually use this. This is a great brush to pat on color. And I kind of just going to pat on. And I wanted to see first, before I put more eyeshadow base on, how pigmented it was over top of more eyeshadows, which it's definitely hard for any eyeshadow to become pigmented once there's a layer of eyeshadow underneath. So I'm actually just going to go over top of this with my eyeshadow base in the area that I'm going to want to stand out and put that pretty coppery color. I'm going to do this for both eyes. And that is a little too much, definitely, but... Definitely can work with it. Blend it until you can't blend it anymore. Now I'm gonna go back in with that A Cosmetics brush and that coppery color and just pat on top. Oh my gosh, okay, that's way better. It's way more pigmented. Definitely gives me like the fiery look that I wanted because I love like the orange and the gold and even the hot pink, but I just didn't feel like a pink eye today for some reason. Usually I'm down. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills kit and doing like a hot pink eye and going about my day, but today I don't know why. Just wasn't feeling it. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you. Like that airbrush crease brush from a cosmetics and go back in with that orangey color just to kind of blend in the other color into this copper color because you don't want a harsh line as to where that color came from <laughs> Quickly off camera, I went in the inner corners of my eye with a quick um, gold highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ultimate Glow Kit, which I will bring out again to kind of highlight my face, but I just kind of wanted to do that really quickly, and I just brightened up the inner corners. So now I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to use that orange color with my Ulta Beauty Angled Eyeliner Brush, and I'm just going to smoke out the bottom waterline really quick. I love this. I feel like the no eyeliner trend is so pretty. I haven't used eyeliner in a while. I kind of, it's like a game time decision because you don't know how your fake lashes, if that's what you use, are going to look. So if the band is really present and you can see the band, you have to kind of put a thin coat eyeliner on. But I try to apply them well enough to the fact where you can't see the band. And then I don't have to wear eyeliner. It's just like a super fresh, like fiery looking summer eyeshadow look. And I think that there is nothing more exciting 
then like being as artistic as possible and not having to worry about having like harsh colors involved in your makeup look. All right, so I think we're pretty smoked out for the waterline. Excuse my eyes. So next I'm just gonna quickly curl my eyelashes with my drugstore eyeshadow, or eyeshadow, eyelash curler, and take my Maybelline The Rocket in waterproof blackest black color and just coat my eyelashes really quickly. Just like a thin coat. I put a thin coat on before I started this video because I had some errands to do, so. I don't love to be completely bare eyelash, especially because I don't have the extensions. I've never had them. I want to try them. So that looks cute. I mean, you can do whatever you want. If you don't like falsies, then don't use falsies. You know what I mean? It's all personal preference. This mirror that I'm using to film is literally creating the craziest shadows on me. And I need it at a certain angle so that I can see my makeup. What the heck? All right, so next I'm gonna take these Ardell Glamour Lashes and just apply them off camera really quickly so that I don't have to worry about any crazy mishaps. Um, I showed you guys in previous videos, so not the last one, but the videos before that, I think all of them I have applied fake lashes on camera. So if you wanna know how to apply fake lashes on camera or if you want an in-depth tutorial please let me know because that will be super easy to do for you guys all right so my lashes are on and of course one needed more care and love and attention than the other of course it was this eye just like that brow needs more love and attention than the other so i'm gonna start in with my brows i got a new product this is kind of a first time try for me it's, i will i tried it a little bit yesterday but nothing too in depth this is the anastasia beverly hills soft brown duo brow powder and i'm just gonna kind of do it like i would the dip brow and start kind of in the thicker areas of my brow going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and both, I forgot to say, both of these colors are soft brown and the brush that I'm using is the A12 brush, which I really love. It has like the pretty spooly side where you can kind of direct this, you know, the product in the area that you want to go into. I'm so excited because I don't really get to get super glammed up for work, so when I can really do my makeup and take the time to do it, it's a beautiful day. It really is. My whole mood changes. I'm happier. <laughs> and then if you notice that like the product is kind of crazy, like there might be too much in one area, just take the spoolie side and brush it through because that's what it's made for. It's made to just kind of direct the product in the area that it should be going. So I'm not really going to go too crazy with the dip brow because it's easy to do. going to kind of define the tail of the brow really quickly and then maybe this tail of the brow. Nothing too serious because, oh, see, like too, way too much. Just going to literally use my finger. So that's good for the dip brow. I'm gonna go in with the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills, also in soft brown. I have pretty blonde hair, like it's it's pretty blonde. Let's be real here. So I am going to, I like soft brown because I feel like it gives me a definition, but because, I mean, if you see my roots that need to be touched up, it's because it needs to be touched up, but that is probably the closest color to my hair. I have a very dirty blonde, um, I, I'd say it's dirty blonde. I mean, when I was a little kid, it was friggin' blonde, but dirty blonde, like where you could have went dark brown or dirty blonde, so I decided to go dark brown first and dyed my hair twice within 48 hours when I was 15, and my mother stripped my hair with 
hair stripper. So my hair was 15 different colors and I spent like six hours in the salon the day after. That's my tale of trying to figure out what hair color I should be and why my brows are the way they are. I'm trying to hold off to get my hair highlighted again in the icy color until right before my birthday because I want it to be super pretty for my birthday, which is in a couple of weeks, 23. But I want to wait. But it's really driving me kind of crazy that I have these roots, especially because I like to wear a middle part. All right, so to set the brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and my new, new, see like, I just feel like these look so much better with the brow powder than they do with just the dip brow and the brow definer, but I could also be crazy and buy into every hype that there is. So next I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Duo Pencil, and this is in Matte Shell and Lace Shimmer, and it is like, the color is really nice, it's not crazy, it doesn't like stick out or anything. I'm going to use this Ulta Beauty Concealer Brush. These brushes were about $10 in case I didn't mention that because I don't think I did. And I just kind of go in and clean up the areas that I might have put a little too much eyeshadow, which is always, I never do it perfectly, but that's what concealer is for. I was going to do a video just on my brows, which I can still definitely do like a little bit more in depth on how I do these things. Next, I'm going to go in with the lace shimmer side and kind of just highlight the end of the brow. But I like to do full face because I feel like if I'm going to film, I might as well do it well, right? Go big or go home. And I feel like this product is perfect because it's not the drastic concealer color that you probably have that you use every day and it's not the drastic highlighter that you have that you probably use every day. All right so really quickly I got this new beauty blender. It's a different shape. I had like the classic um, slanted tip beauty blender and it was completely different and it gave a different coverage. The way it picked up product was different and I love the way that this one does. So I'm just using the Smash Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour hydrating foundation and I'm just gonna put it onto the top of here and kind of go into the areas that need foundation. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me because I know then you'll see you can be true. I have been having some skin issues lately and I don't know if it's because of this foundation. Um, my skin's been breaking out a little bit more than usual. I really don't break out so the fact that it has has been really frustrating but this is the finished foundation. Alright next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I have it in the color light. I'm just going to go in a downwards triangle if I can go back to first grade art class and learn to make one. You to see what I see in us Something so real Something so real I want you to see that This is a love We both feel That we both feel And how will we ever know If the love will ever grow Without trying Without trying So I am baking with Tarte's Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. I know it's not the normal setting powder that I use. I'm going to put it back in my organizer so it's still organized. But it does work. So I'm waiting for Amazon to bring me my Laura Mercier one. Okay, this is a Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I'm just going to kind of put it where I normally would put my bronzer. And onto the sides of my face. Now this is like a really dramatic summer look, so don't feel like this is normal to do. <laughs> it's just like super glam summer look. And you really, this is my first time using it, and I'm seeing that you really, really, really have to blend this stuff out. I don't know if you can kind of see a contour yet, but... 
And that one comes with so much in the Kim Kardashian contour stick, like no joke. As this bakes out, that's what like the white finishing powder is. It kind of just sits and bakes in your concealer until it's done. So I have my Real Techniques uh, buffing brush and I'm just going to wipe away the baking. My nose, my forehead, everything. Kind of just do that. Make sure you don't see any like white powder. Looking it over, I think we're good. And then I'm going to go in with my Becca Cosmetics Capri Coast bronzer with my Real Techniques contour brush and kind of just put this over where I put the contour to kind of deepen the contour and give it a little bit more of a bronzy look. This is really pretty. This is one of my favorite bronzers to date. To date. So, I do love the Hula one still though, don't get me wrong. And I'm just going to blend it out with my Real Techniques buffing brush because this really does buff everything out. And I meant, I bought this $24 brush and I meant to use this to buff out my, I can still do it, to buff out my, um, my contour and I totally skipped over it, so that's fun. Alright, so next I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I've heard such good things about this. I got the trial size. My little Exomella mug. My Keurig is the bomb. I love my Exomella mug. So, yeah, so that's the all nighter. I'm going to tell you guys how I like that by the end of the day. And then I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Airbrush Foundation brush and go in with the colors White Sand and Snow and kind of just put them where you highlight. All over. I don't know if you can see it really. Yet. Probably could get my hair out of the way. That would be nice. I'm like obsessed with highlighting, so this is nothing, nothing new for me. I really like the snow color because it's so dramatic. <laughs> oh my god, that highlight though. I just keep adding to it too. What's wrong with me? I have a problem. All right, so this is the high glam kind of summer look I have going on for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel below. Tell your friends, share it with your friends, and follow us on Instagram at xomelablog. So let me know what you guys think of this summer look because I think it's super light, but it's still super glam. I mean, it is a lot going on. It's pretty heavy coverage, but I think it's really pretty. If you're going out to a dinner and you still want to look super festive, I keep looking at it just to make sure that it was like everything I wanted it to be, and I really do think it is. I think this Kim Kardashian West um, X Kylie Cosmetics in the color Kim Velvet like liquid lipstick is so pretty. It doesn't last very long, but it lasts for what you need it to last for. If you're worried about it lasting, just put a quick swipe of um, lip liner or anything. It'll be good. So let me know what you guys think, and thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to make another video for you guys.